Hi, my name is Yolanda Gill. I'm a research professor at the University of Southern California. I am in the computer science department. I did not always love computers, but I started to like math when I was 10. What happened is that my family moved to Belgium. Our, I am originally from Spain, and they moved to Belgium, and I was uh, dropped in a classroom where everybody spoke French, and I didn't. So I didn't understand anything until math class started and the teacher would start putting things on the board and I could actually make something out. So I started loving math. I thought, how powerful that I don't speak this language and I can still get what all those symbols mean and do. I studied computers back in Spain and then I really wanted to do a lot of research. That's what I do in my job. I really love it. Uh, what it means is that I think of problems that no one has solved before. And so I spent a lot of my day thinking about new things. Uh, you have to come up with good problems to solve, and then you have to come up with your own ideas. You have to make sure no one else has solved them before. My research, I've always been very interested in an area of computer science called artificial intelligence. Uh, so this is an area where we look at how to make computers more intelligent and closer to how humans look at solving problems. I work a lot on developing user interfaces that assist people with problems and um, uh, understand what they want to do. The ability to think and, and reason and, and make inferences and deductions and so on is really incredible in people. So understanding language, reasoning, and a lot of common sense, computers can't beat humans in any of those things. It's, it's uh, a really big challenge for my research, so we make progress every day, but uh, we have a long way to go. Recently we developed a system called Tell Me, uh, and Tell Me actually was used to learn how to um, fly a plane and detect oil spills out in the ocean. So um, we actually had high school kids test the system and teach it um, how to fly the plane, how to take pictures or videos, how to send them back to the headquarters. The girls were teaching the system using natural language. So just like when you use a search engine, it, you start typing and it kind of completes um, you, what you typed based on what it knows you might be typing next, that's what our system did. So it thought a lot about, you know, um, any word that you typed, how could it relate it to things that it knew about and, and offer you completions of your thoughts. So if you think about it, only programmers ha can teach computers what to do. So you have to spend a lot of time, a lot of years learning to program. And the more complex the task, um, the harder it is to program it. So uh, just programming everything uh, is just not a very good way to go about it. I want to empower people, everybody, to teach computers things and to um, customize what the computer is doing to what my preference is. I don't want the computer to do what they do for everybody else. I want to be able to tell it, you know, this is how I want you to do things for me. I think this is very important because if we were able to communicate tasks to computers and computers including robots, um, I think there's a lot of things that we would be able to uh, not have to do that we could get help with. So people often tell me, computers, that's so mechanical and so boring, it's just about programming and it's nothing like that. Computing is all about ideas and about m turning your ideas into things that actually work. So to me it's the most creative profession. You just build something from nothing and they're all your ideas. It's very artistic in that sense. So I feel I have a lot in common with artists. They just come up with an idea and they just make it. If you find computers frustrating, rather than moving away from them, I think you should join in, join forces with us and make them better. There's a lot of opportunities there. And I think we can make a better world if we allow uh, humans, if we empower humans to make the most out of computers.